Mother's Day is coming up in a couple of weeks and so I wanted to remind people or show people who haven't seen them yet um, these journals that I published probably about a year ago and I'm calling them the Legacy Journal Series and they are basically memoir, keepsake memoir journals that you can give to your mother, father, um, grandma or grandpa and you can ask them to either fill them out for their own kind of pleasure and um, and gratification and perhaps that they would give you the filled out journal later down the road maybe after they've passed or something like that um, but you could also ask them to to fill out the journals now currently um, while they're living and share with you the things that they've written about and so my mom and daughter helped me with the questions and so there's about 120 questions in each of the journals so I'll show you there's a grandma mom dad and grandpa and the the questions are all the same there are questions about the person's early life um, their origin and family early life at home education and then moving on to friendship love and family romance dating children grandchildren uh, moving away from home uh, physical body um, vitality and movement, food and drink, expressions, creative hobbies, books, films, music, art, personal style, my life's work chapter that talks about um, career, activism, service, and volunteerism, and then beliefs and spirituality, what, what your spirituality and religion looks like, um, your thoughts about death, and any life wisdom that you might want to share. So I'll just give you a look here. Table of contents and a family tree. And then really the the book is is just um, questions and spaces in which to write answers. And you can take as much time as you want to to fill it out. And and like I said, you don't even have to give it to somebody. Um, my mom started writing in hers and really enjoyed the process of remembering kind of her childhood and, and different things and so it's it's kind of an exercise and and this being cathartic and remembering your your past and even in your parents and your grandparents um, but I also think it's a great idea for for a parent or grandparent to do in the present and then to give to their family because oftentimes we think we know our parent or grandparent, but the reality is that we usually don't know a whole lot about them or their lives, and especially their their early lives. So it's a chance to for for them to express themselves, and then for us, if we were to receive the the filled out journal, to really learn a lot about that person while they're still alive. So more conversations can be had. Um, each of the books, each of these journals um, come in paperback and hard copy. And paperback, if you bought them now, you would get in a couple of days. The hard copy versions take longer, I think like over a week, a week and a half or so. So I kind of feel like you probably wouldn't get them in time for Mother's Day, the hard copy version. The paperbacks are $12.95 and you'll be able to get them in a, in a few days. This is a sample of the hard copy grandpa book. So they're the, all the same size, seven by nine. And um, you would be able to get a hard copy version for Father's Day. Um, but for Mother's Day, since I'm a little late doing this video, you would just have to get the paperback. So $12.95 for the paperback and I think $17.95 for the hard copy. They're available on Amazon.com, 
So just look up my name, Sarah Elizabeth Rankin, and that's the easiest way to find them. You could also search, but um, they don't come up on the first page when you search memoir journals. Unfortunately, if they did, I'd be um, probably making more money than I am on these. <laughs> but I, I love them and I'm very proud of them. And um, I would love if you would want to purchase one as a gift to give to your parent or grandparent this Mother's Day or Father's Day. Take care.